guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another weird food testing video. You guys seem to really like my other one, so I figured I'd do another one for you guys. Today, instead of chocolate, we are going to be using peanut butter and I love peanut butter. I've got a bunch of random things here, so we are just gonna get started and start tasting it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna play it safe. We're gonna do some popcorn, because I feel like this is gonna be really, really good. But I just have some fresh air popped popcorn in here. It doesn't have any salt, no butter, nothing. Just plain old, just plain old popcorn. So I guess we're gonna use this piece. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's try it out. That was good. I knew that was gonna be good. Mmm, guys. I love popcorn. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go a little bit grosser and I have got watermelon. I don't know how this is gonna taste with peanut butter, probably really, really gross, but hey, I do it for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pick this piece, cause he's tiny. Oh boy, I don't think this is gonna be good at all. This does not look like it's gonna be a good combo. Is peanut butter covered fruit a thing? I know there's like probably peanut butter apples because I love apples and peanut butter, but I don't know about watermelon. Okay, ready? Here it goes. Here goes nothing. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> it honestly wasn't bad at all. One more try. I think the watermelon is so like watery when you bite into it that it kind of just like, it overpowers the peanut butter taste. So it's not bad at all. I thought that was gonna be gross. What a disappointment. Next we've got one of my favorite things, which is string cheese. Peanut butter and cheese, is that a thing? I don't think so. I am just going to peel off a piece as I usually would and we're gonna dip it in the peanut butter. Ew. Oh my god, that looks so disgusting. Tell me this doesn't look so nasty. Ew, this is gonna be horrible. Oh. Okay, we're, we're just going for it at this point. Oh, I couldn't even taste the cheese because I put way too much peanut butter, but the texture of the cheese and the taste of the peanut butter was not a good combo. It was almost like you were eating peanut butter that like has went bad and has like chunks in it. I just have to cleanse my palate really quick. Just real quick. The next thing that I have here is tortilla chips. Thinking about it now, like these are really, really salty so they're probably gonna be good with peanut butter, but we shall see. I'm gonna get one that has like a nice indent in it so I can like scoop it up really nice, you know? Oh my God. It's like a little boat that has peanut butter in it. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to taste. That's a lot of peanut butter. Maybe I shouldn't put so much. It's gonna, oh no. I'm just gonna eat the whole thing because we have a ghost. discover something amazing. You guys, 10 out of 10, you need to try peanut butter and tortilla chips. I think I just made like a new discovery. Wow, that was like really, 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 really good. Oh my God. The next thing that I have for you guys is pistachios. These are also one of my favorite snacks and I hope I don't ruin the taste of them for myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna crack one of these open and obviously just eat the inside with the peanut butter. So I've just got a little teeny tiny little thing. I'm only gonna put a tiny bit just cause this is so small and peanut butter is so strong. So just a little tiny bit on it would be fine. I feel like this is gonna be good for some reason. Okay, ready and go. I need more peanut butter. Okay, ready? The flavors are actually like complementing each other so well that you like can't even taste the peanut butter. Does that make sense? It's good though, but like I would still just eat pistachios alone because I can't really taste the peanut butter anyway. And if you guys watched my last video of this series, you guys would know that I saved the best for last. 
and I've got baby carrots because this was absolutely the worst one when I did the chocolate video. I actually had to spit this out. So hopefully it isn't as bad as the chocolate one. Do you guys see these fuzzies in the air? Where the hell are they coming from? So hopefully it isn't as bad as the chocolate one because that was like not even bearable, but I feel like carrots just don't go with anything except for like ranch. I think these might've went bad. These go bad. Okay, so we're just gonna go for it because I'm scared, I'm nervous, and I really don't wanna do it, but we're gonna do it. We've got a nice amount on there. I should get a napkin in case I have to spit it out. Okay, I'm ready. Mm. I don't think carrot went bad. That was very anticlimactic because it was not as bad as the chocolate at all. I will help myself to a pistachio though. Alrighty guys, so that is all the stuff that I have to taste today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any other requests, leave them in the comments below. If you guys aren't subscribed to my vlog channel, I am filming behind the scenes today, so if you guys wanna see a behind the scenes on this video, go check out my vlog channel. It is always linked at the top of the description. But I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.